working people are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for well, months ago, they rallied for it. Today, Heine Brothers employees are voting to unionize. It is the biggest union vote to establish a new union in Louisville in years. The Baristas announced back in April that they were forming a union. Up to 221 frontline workers in the chain's 17 coffee shops are voting on whether to accept representation by the Service Employees International. It's the most prominent example of a recent resurgence in the labor movement. Okay, let's bring in WDRB business reporter Chris Hotz to discuss this one. Chris, first it was Starbucks, then we saw Half Price Books, and now of course Heine Brothers. Are unions suddenly back in style? Well, over many decades, Gil, the trend has actually been that unions have been on the decline, both nationally and here locally. Uh, but one of the things that's changed is that these young people who work at coffee shops are now suddenly interested, and we have to see, is that a trend that sticks? Something that's going on right now is the incredibly tight job market giving workers more power to do these kinds of things. And that's what I talked to a labor law expert at the University of Louisville about. There is a little bit of a shift in the balance of power between the employers and the workers. Generally, employers have the upper hand, but the workers have a little bit more power in the economy right now. And so that's contributing to this historical moment being the moment that you see the organizing happening. All right, Chris, so you've been talking with several Heine Brothers workers, including some who do not support this union drive. So what are their feelings and how do we expect this vote tonight to turn out? Well, I would assume because the union has called for this vote that they are confident that they have the votes. Uh, however, it is not unanimous. You know, I did talk to a few workers who say that, you know, this job isn't actually as hard as it's being made out to be by the ones who are in support of the union. Uh, and they just don't feel that a union is necessary for their shop. They don't need it to communicate with their managers and they're happy with the job in general. Has anything actually changed at these coffee shops that have unionized? Uh, what comes next after today's vote? Yeah, that's the big question after this. This is really like the first step, even though it's very hard to get to. Um, the next step is to get a contract from the employer. And all these Starbucks that have unionized already, they don't actually have that yet. That can sometimes take a lot of work and effort to actually achieve any meaningful results. This is another thing I talked with that labor law expert about earlier this week. So if you look at the data, it can take a really long time, like even longer than a year to get a first contract. And the problem with that is that if it takes longer than a year, then there's no bar to having another election and decertifying the union. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those places where the labor laws really favor the employers over the workers, and it makes it really difficult to make change in our workplaces. All right, Chris, you're writing about this now on WDRB.com, and we are staying on top of the outcome of tonight's vote for the later editions of WDRB News. Chris Hans, thank you. Thank you.